What's up nerdlings, Sean from the Nerd Lair here. Thanks for tuning into this video where today we're not going to be talking about something video game related. We're going to be talking about a specific place from the 90s, a place that is very near and dear to my heart and it might be to you as well if you grew up in this time. So sit back, pull yourself up a lunch or a snack and let me tell you the story about Discovery Zone. Discovery Zone was a chain of kids entertainment facilities that every kid from the 90s remembers. The facilities featured a bunch of different things like arcade games, you could order food, you could use tokens to play arcade games to win tickets to trade in for prizes. It was pretty cool. But its main attraction was the huge elaborate indoor mazes, roller slides, and you could climb up padded play structures and jump into huge ball pits. Another thing that Discovery Zone locations were really well known for was birthday parties. I went to a few for some friends of mine when I was a kid and I even and had a couple there myself. The main idea behind Discovery Zone was that it was a place where kids could go to have fun and not realize that they're getting exercise. It was also a really good place for promotional events like for Power Rangers the movie that came out in the 90s where the actors would dress up as their Power Ranger character, they would go meet fans at select locations and hype up the movie. In 1990, the popularity of Discovery Zone skyrocketed and within 18 months they bought 15 more locations. In April of 1993, Blockbuster Video actually invested $10.3 million into Discovery Zone to purchase 21% of the company. And within just three months, Discovery Zone raised over $55 million and it looked like Discovery Zone was here to stay. Under the leadership of then CEO Don Flynn in July 1994, Discovery Zone bought 45 leaps and bounds locations from McDonald's. At the same time, Blockbuster bought more shares of Discovery Zone, giving it 50.1% of the stock. Blockbuster Video, now being a subsidiary of Viacom Incorporated, took total management control over Discovery Zone in April 1995. Sadly, stretched thin by this expansion, changes to management tried to save the company. However, Discovery Zone filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in March 26, 1996, with debts of up to $366 million. And on June 30th, 1999, Elmsford, New York-based Discovery Zone Incorporated abruptly closed half of their fund centers and were unable to alert those who reserved parties. 13 locations were sold to CEC Entertainment Incorporated, the owner of Chuck E. Cheese's who attempted to accommodate last-minute reschedulings for parties for these customers. And that's going to be all for this nostalgic blast of the past, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I upload at least once a week, so there's always something to watch. Go ahead and check me out on social media. Links will be down below in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time in the Nerd Lair. Kids have the right to fun, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah! Discovery Zone. We have a right to express ourselves freely. We have a right to live life to the fullest. Yeah! We have a right to hang with our friends. DC. To hang upside down and bark like a dog. What?